Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, June 23rd. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. A couple of quick clarification points. First off, this price you see over here will be changing and this candlestick here will be moving as I go through the various charts because the market is still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture a really interesting late day price movement. So just keep that in mind going forward. Maybe not so much on this one since it's a penny stock and they don't fluctuate as much. But with further charts, you'll notice that those things are all changing. And then next, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame. So for beginners, what that means is that each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, XELA, which is like I mentioned, a penny stock and a whole lot of volume today. We were talking about hundreds of millions of shares showed up. So you gotta like the volatility, you gotta like the volume. And with penny stocks, you definitely need volume if it's gonna be worth your time. And that showed up here. So there's definitely a couple of key levels to watch here moving forward. The first level that I think a lot of people will be watching because it sticks out like a sore thumb is all about that pink line right there, which on my chart to know, it's a very well-known, very famous 200 period moving average, which you can see has already behaved as support once. So there are no guarantees, but if the price does drop down in that area, then it's rational to think that the price could find some buyers down around there. Current value of that is right around 17 and a half cents. So keep an eye on that from the support side of things. In terms of areas of resistance, the level here that I think a lot of people will be watching is via that trend line right there. So in my personal opinion, a lot of people have drawn that trend line pretty straightforward. So while that does not guarantee anything, doesn't make it plausible, doesn't make it valid to think that if the price can come up to that area and then get the break up through it, that that break in and of itself could create some good, you know, solid upside buying pressure. That's absolutely a plausible thought process to have. Once again, not guaranteed, but plausible. And that's what our job as traders is, is to find plausible, to find you know, logical situations, and then, you know, potentially put trade plans, you know, together around those. So if you like to play penny stocks, then this is definitely one I'd keep an eye on. Next, REV, and did this one previously, and once again, higher highs and higher lows, so the uptrend continues, and some updates need to be done for sure. First thing to do is just get rid of that line as it served its purpose for now. But the first update that comes into play and played out perfectly today is just based on a foundation rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. And that is exactly what happened this morning. You can see right there, price gapped up, pulled back, and then bounced literally right off that green line and has done a fantastic job the rest of the way of just staying up above that level. So if you were to picture this low as a stair step, and then you look at a previous stair step here and a previous stair step here, you get the idea that overall, assuming you care about the big picture of things, these stair steps are still very clearly progressing in the upwards direction, and that's what you wanna see. So big picture wise, yeah, I get it. Price just essentially kind of chopped around sideways today, but looking at it from an overall trend, overall chart perspective, very clearly the trend is still upwards. As far as areas of resistance are concerned, Again, going back to the whole idea of, you know, a lot of people watching the similar level, you got to think that a whole bunch of people have drawn that trend line there. Not a, not, I don't want to come across like my ability to draw that as some sort of special skill, or this is a great discovery. I assure you, a lot of people have watched that level. So again, guarantee no, but is it plausible to think that if the price can get up to that area and break up through it, that that, even if you want to call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, could create that much more buying pressure, that is certainly a plausible thought to have. And then just from an overall pattern perspective, we have a resistance, have our support, have the momentum move right there, put our little golf hole down here. This would be a bull pennant pattern. Next, BOXD, very nice mover here and some nice, uh, you know, uh, very well-defined levels. But another thing that I like about this is it has pulled back. And in pulling back, it's at least removed the question, the fear of, okay, am I gonna, am I buying the top? Am I chasing the price, right? FOMO, fear of missing out. Is that me? And no, it's not. The people that were suffering from FOMO, they bought up there. Now, that doesn't mean that it'll necessarily still be a winning trade, but my point here is at least you know that you're buying a pullback and you are buying a pullback within an overall uptrend. So yes, right now the price does have this downwards channel to it, but what is this downwards channel? What's the context that it's occurring in? It's occurring in a very strong upwards move here. And in doing so, I've now drawn out the pattern that's formed, the bull flag pattern. So if you like to play bull flags, if you prefer to buy pullbacks, that way you, you know you're not gonna be the sucker that buys the top, then this is definitely one that it's worth keeping on your watch list. Next, M-U-L-N, this one previously. And overall, not, not a clean breakout because it did, yes, break above that resistance line there, which I talked about previously. It didn't make a move up there, uh, but it, it wasn't clean and now it's pulling back here. But overall, like I said, just because it wasn't a clean breakout does not imply that therefore the entire chart's destroyed. No, in, in fact, the overall chart continues to look just fine. And thinking back to REV, and you know, if you want to picture this as a stair step, this as a stair step, 
stair step, stair step, and then, you know, you envision these, they're still going very much so in the upward direction. So again, yes, was today's breakout clean and beautiful? It wasn't, but that doesn't mean that everything is destroyed because keyword there being today, as in one day, as you're looking at multiple days, you can see that those stair steps still very clearly in the upwards direction. So as far as supports are concerned, nothing really has changed here in my mind, still all about that dollar 48 ish area as support, but the new level to keep in mind going forward. And maybe you're starting to catch kind of the trend here is we once again have one of these very, very well-defined tread lines. So for the price to come up here and break through it, is it rational, valid to think that that could create additional upside buying pressure? Absolutely, especially given the context of this thing is already in a nice overall uptrend. So definitely worth keeping an eye on. Next one, AMC, which was a bit tricky today. And it all has to do with this resistance line that I mapped out previously. And you can see that opening 30 minutes, huge green candle broke above that level and then did a fantastic job of trying to stay above it, trying to stay above it. And then that 30 minute session right there, you can see the price did drop below it. And then at that point, you can see that that level went right back to acting as resistance as the price hovered below it, did make a bit of an attempt right there and got rejected back to the downside. So, I mean, it, it's a good sign that this 1295 ish area was weakened up today, but because the price still, you know, managed to close down below it, this would still be that key level of resistance moving forward. And we also have, you know, kind of a, a warning that, yeah, just because the price breaks above it, that you're gonna to wanna to see if the price can at least maintain above it. Uh, like I said, for that example right there, yeah, price got above it, but couldn't maintain above it and then went right back to acting as resistance. Now on the positive side of things, and this will mean a bit more to those of you that have watched the past videos, I have been talking about that purple line there as an important level of support. And you can see that right here, didn't hit it exactly, but this morning got pretty close to it. Once again, didn't hit exactly. However, my point here is that this level of support continues to hold strong. And you know, from an overarching standpoint, that's what matters. As long as those lows keep getting higher and higher, that's the most important thing. Real quickly, I wanted to pause and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering here soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you wanna learn more about this tool, how it can be used, how it should be used to help build consistency as a trader, then certainly get signed up for this free class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So again, if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you wanna learn more, certainly get signed up for the free class. Next, PLTR, very, very nice move today and very, very, very nice pattern. So once again, as I mentioned in a previous stock, I'm not trying to impress you. I'm not trying to apply. This is some sort of great discovery or special talent. I assure you a lot of people have drawn this pattern and the top part of the pattern here, the resistance tread line right there, bottom part of the pattern right here, you have a very well-defined area of support tread line. So let me actually change that to green to represent more so a bullish dynamic of things. And then just to keep this all one color, maybe to make it a bit easier to see, have a resistance, have our support, have the momentum move right there. Let's put a little golf hold on there to make it more visual. And we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. So if you like to play, you know, sub $10 stocks, you like to play bull pennant patterns, then here you go, especially given the context that the 50 period is also looking like it might be getting ready to cross up through that 200 period moving average. So we'll see if the price can indeed get the breakout or not over the next couple of days. Next one here, TSLA Tesla, and a bit of a case of deja vu with AMC because same general premise, Yes, the price did break up above that area of resistance and problem is could not maintain above it. And then when the price fell below it, check it out, went right back to acting as resistance as the price bounced and once again got rejected right at that area. So yeah, $730 was weakened up today. You can't really argue against that. However, it is still a level of resistance. So with any sort of attempted bounces back upwards, 730 remains that key level to watch. Moving forward in the next fact, I'll, I'll extend that out to, so we can keep an eye on it. As far as levels of support, then yes, this level here at $700, which I talked about, came into play this morning, opening 30 minutes. Never hit $700 exactly, but got very close. And then with the pullback here that today, uh, you know, it becomes very rational to think, is the price headed back down at that $700 mark? Seems uh, more likely than not. So the big question just becomes, is the price gonna be able to hold that level? Is the price gonna break to the downside? If it does break to the downside, then that's where I'd say keep an eye on that purple line there, 50 period moving average, currently valid at, let's just call it 685. But yeah, overall, a great start to the day, but could not maintain that breakout and then pretty much uh, you know pulled back the remainder of the day. Next, XXII, and I like this one for one reason, one reason, well, I take that back, couple of reasons. First reason being, yeah, it showed that it can move and move very quickly. Second reason being, it has pulled back. So once again, you have eliminated the worry of, am I gonna be the sucker that's buying the top? Uh, so that you know has been eliminated. But I also like the fact that given all these things, you have just such a well-defined level that you gotta think a lot of people are gonna be watching right at 205 as a very clear line in the sand of, okay, 
Is this a healthy consolidation where this thing's going to finally get the break to the upside? That all remains to be seen. Uh, but in my mind, it makes more than enough sense to think that, okay, if the price can push through that 205 mark, then that makes it plausible to think that that could be the signal that, okay, yes, this is a healthy consolidation and that a bigger move to the upside uh, could very well follow. So as far as consolidations and kind of breakout points, 205 stands out very, very clearly, uh, not, not necessarily to me, but I think a lot of people. So again, we have that potential self-fulfilling prophecy type angle. And then as far as levels of support, you have that level there at $1.90. And then any sort of deeper uh, pullbacks, you have a couple of big moving averages, essentially valued at the same thing. Let's just call it a dollar seventy-eight. You have the 200 period and the 50 period moving average. But like I said, in my mind, at least the most interesting dynamic comes in the form of can the price get up to that resistance and then get a push up through it. Next one here, SNDL and overall case of deja vu once again with Tesla and AMC, but got the breakout, could not maintain and fell back below. Now, the good news here is that the price is essentially sitting still right at that main area of resistance. So unlike the other ones, it's not like it's got to travel up a certain distance before it can do battle with it once again. It's essentially sitting right at that level at 35 and a half cents. So continue to watch that. And given it's so close, I'm almost going to assume that it will be broken. Now, that doesn't mean that it will, but if it does get assumed, then I am going to throw on the next key level of resistance, which sits up there at 37 cents. So 35 and a half and then 37 cents, next main levels of resistance. As far as the supports, you still have that trend line right there, which, uh, you know, was... Uh, can see opening 30 minutes here, price came down there, got a nice bounce off it. Now what's interesting about this trend line is how it's essentially the same value of that 200 period moving average at 34 and a half cents. So uh, you, you gotta think that there could potentially be a good amount of support down there if the price were to go down to that area. But overall, like I said, nothing has necessarily changed per se, other than the fact of got the breakout, it failed, but at least it's close to potentially breaking out again. And then we'll see if it can get back up to that 37 cent mark. Next one, NIO, and this will mean a tad bit more to those of you that watched the video previously, but the reason why I put it on yesterday's watch list holds true and now holds that much more true because check it out, that red line there at 2310, once again, held as resistance today. And I say that because you now know that there's gonna be even more people watching this level moving forward. So that doesn't guarantee anything, but when you factor in the whole potential self-fulfilling prophecy, it makes not guaranteed sense, but plausible sense that if the price can eventually get back up there and finally push up through that level, that that break could really create a good solid amount of upwards buying pressure. So like I said, that, that area up there already stuck out like a sore thumb going into today, but now after today, it sticks out that much more as a sore thumb. So if you're a breakout player, then this is certainly a, a very interesting situation to watch there at 2310. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed what you saw here and you want to learn more about this tool, then very soon I will be offering this free training. It'll be Thursday, June 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy this format, if you would like for me to continue to make these videos, then do two things for me, please. Hit that like button, leave a simple comment, say hi, say thanks, give me a smiley face emoji, tell me what you traded today. But those two things communicate to me that you enjoy. And as long as I know people are enjoying, I will continue to put in the time and effort required to get these watch list videos out to you. So again, Get signed up for that free training. Hit that like button. Leave a simple comment down below. Thanks and take care.